What's up you guys, James Strickland here. Welcome back to the channel and it's been about a year. I apologize for my tardiness, but I do have a huge update for you guys today. Uh, but stay tuned, I've got something kind of raw and uncut. It's gonna be an interview style. James, you've been almost radio silent for a year now. What has been going on? Where have you been? Yes, so I actually had a stroke last June, June of 2022. What type of stroke was it? So I had a basal ganglia infarction, which essentially is just a, a, a minor blood clot that happens in your brain and it cuts off the blood supply to a certain area of the brain and causes essentially permanent uh, brain damage. Were there any um, symptoms? So honestly, no, not really. Uh, I've always had somewhat higher blood pressure, not super high, nothing to be really concerned about, but high blood pressure runs in my family. Uh, it's a genetic thing. Uh, mix that with a little bit of uh, higher cholesterol in the diet, and it's kind of a perfect storm for that. But nothing that told me, hey, you are about to have a stroke. Uh, I'm sure if I would have had like some testing every single week leading up to it, I'm sure at some point in time they could have said, hey, you're, you're about to have a stroke, because it, it would have been, uh, uh, diagnosed that way, but without a weekly checkup with a doctor, I don't think there was any way I would have known whatsoever. What got you to go to the hospital to get checked out? Like what, what symptoms were you showing that made you go get looked at? So my wife, uh, we've been married about, well at this time it was 18 years. Um, she noticed that I just wasn't acting right, that I was kind of slurring my speech a little bit, uh, that I wasn't answering questions and retaining information. Uh, the way I normally was, uh, I wasn't as sharp mentally, and um, I was kind of a little bit of a delayed smile. Uh, so I know with most strokes, you can kind of tell if there's a droop droopiness of the face. Uh, and grouping that with the fact that it does run in my family, uh, my uncle actually had a stroke uh, when he was in his early 20s, and it was a, a major stroke. So I've always been pretty conscientious about that in my training and how I carry myself through life. Uh, I take a daily aspirin just as a precaution because I know that my blood pressure has always been a little bit higher. Not to mention I'm a bigger guy and I do a lot of weightlifting, so obviously I'm putting a lot of pressure on my body, uh, but didn't ever honestly think that I was at risk of having a stroke, so it, it really snuck up on me. So during your hospital stay, what did the doctors tell you to do? So. As most doctors would say in this kind of situation, they say, well, you're a big guy, you need to lose weight, you need to stop eating cholesterol. Um, I, I was taking uh, testosterone replacement therapy uh, for the last five years or so due to low hormone levels, low testosterone levels. Uh, and that was definitely a no-no because it thickens your blood uh, and adds some different complications in there. So I was told to stop all of that, uh, stop eating um, high cholesterol foods, uh, and essentially stop lifting. So. It's hard to hear. TRT was prescribed by a medical doctor though, right? Absolutely, prescribed and supervised Correct. by a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after the stroke, tell me the next couple months, like what, where were you with that? So that obviously finding out that you had a stroke is not something minor, uh, regardless of how minor the stroke is. Uh, it really did change my outlook on life, my priorities in life. Uh, I was told not to lift, so essentially I, I did not have that out. I couldn't go to the gym and get my stress out the way I normally would uh, two to three times a week. I couldn't go and lift heavy and pursue my goals uh, in my powerlifting career the way I normally would. Uh, scared to death to get under even you know 25 pounds of weight just because I was afraid that I was going to be straining myself too much and putting myself at risk. Um, so I, I really took it easy the next. I guess you could honestly say the next year, uh, just being careful of not making the wrong move. It's a game of chess and I didn't wanna, didn't wanna have checkmate there, so. Are you currently working out? I am currently working out. Uh, it's been a slow process back, uh, regardless of what you've seen that I've been posting out there. Uh, a lot of my weights have not been super, super heavy for me. Uh, I've been scared to get under any, anything of significant weight, uh, for me anyways. Uh, I try to train at least once or twice a week with weights, and I do a lot of cardiovascular body weight exercises on the weekends. Uh, so that's been what is keeping me in shape. 
Why have you waited so long to share your story? That is a hard question to answer. Uh, that's honestly the reason, very much the reason why I haven't done this video until now. Um, I'm just afraid of what people are going to think about me, uh, see me in a different light. It's embarrassing to admit that I had a medical issue, like a stroke. Um, I, strokes have always been reserved in my mind for elderly folks and people that don't take care of themselves. And there's a stigma that goes along with that. Uh, and obviously you have the powerlifting community and strength community that can be very unforgiving when somebody in their, uh, in their sport has a medical problem, they want to immediately blame um, steroids and a bad lifestyle and drinking and all sorts of uh, bad lifestyle choices, which many of you all know that is not my lifestyle. Um, and so to admit it to a public that doesn't really know me that well, I'm asking for the trolls to come out, the negative comments to come out. And honestly, I don't like to play that game too much. So I just decided I wanted to go radio silent and just kind of honestly kind of implode a little bit um, and withdraw from um, telling my story so that I didn't have to face it. I've uh, just been dealing with it on my own. So, Are you still coaching? Absolutely, yeah. So when I'm coaching, uh, it takes my mind off of my own training. I mean, I can be somewhat in a break mode for myself and still want to help others. Uh, that is allowing me to pass on the torch a little bit um, and pass on my knowledge to uh, people that are needing my help with fitness uh, and building your own bench press up, getting stronger. Um, I have always been the type of person to want to give you the shirt off off my back. Uh, even if I'm struggling, uh, I want to help you out. So um, that has been one thing that has really kept me going in a lot of this. I know on the outside, I put on a facade of nothing is wrong. Uh, and that's kind of the world that we live in. Uh, but honestly, on the inside, it's tearing me up. Uh, but I want to be sure that I'm able to help people still. So I still do the coaching. I still offer my bench press programs. Uh, and if you have any questions or need advice about anything at all, I am definitely going to be there for you to help you out. Anything else you want to add or share? Um, I did want to share um, a quote that I, I have been kind of living off of. Uh, it's hard to remember a little bit because my brain, again, remember it's not working that well. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up here. Okay. Strength isn't just a measured in the weights that we lift, but by the obstacles we conquer. Remember, every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Keep pushing forward, believe in yourself, and never underestimate the power of resilience. You have the strength within you to overcome any challenge that comes your way. That cannot be more true. I know through the dark times, uh, I've definitely had some depressing moments where you just kind of wonder what your purpose is in life sometimes. You wonder, you know, did I bring this on myself? Um, should I be even worried about lifting anymore? Is it something that is even worthwhile to do? Uh, obviously, we'll not push it to the point of uh, it being dangerous to my life, but is it even worth thinking, could 700 pounds be, still be there? Could you know, a, a 2,200 plus total even be there? Is it possible to do that in a healthy way? And that's where I've come to the realization that yes, it is, and then I'm gonna still pursue that um, but at the same time, it's still hard to wrap my head around some of the things that I've done in the past uh, because I don't have that same mindset that I used to have. So I'm really somewhat having to retrain my mentality um, and essentially sharing that with you guys is, is hard enough as it is. So, Okay, that's it. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, there's going to be more follow-ups to come, I'm sure. As you guys make comments and send me messages and things like that, I will come up with more content to share with you guys, but I'm gonna try my best, I promise, <laughs> to post up more regular videos, especially here on YouTube. But if you guys are on Instagram, that's actually a lot simpler for me to post because I can literally just do it with my phone and post it up pretty much unedited, uh, and I can do that uh, pretty quick. Uh, but if you guys are not following me over there on Instagram, please do so, at swimhack. Uh, I post up uh, my workouts. Uh, like I said, it's probably once or twice a week now. Uh, if you're curious about what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, what I'm eating, how my diet is, 
uh, lifestyle changes, medications that I'm taking, things like that, uh, or just need somebody to reach out to and, and uh, support you in your own journey and just to be a friend to you, uh, I am more than happy to do that. Uh, DM me on Instagram, shoot me a message here on, on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Swim Hack Power Lifter. Uh, go to my website, benchonly.com, support me, get, me, get a program, uh, get, uh, get my coaching if I'm available. We can definitely talk to see if you're a good fit. Uh, shoot me an email, swimhack at gmail.com. Uh, honestly, I'm at the point now where if I need to uh, hand out my cell phone to the right people, I'm willing to help you out any way I can. So uh, hit me up. Thanks, you guys.